Uh. Anthony, what's going on, my brother? My brother from another mother. How you doing, my boy? Let me check over here. Making sure, you know, making sure I put um on the TV to make sure that we don't buffer. <laughs> oh man. All right, Kaliso's reefing. There we go, Kaliso's reef, and we are live. Straight. What's going on, Kenny? What's happening, my brothers? Here we are, here we are, here we are. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm just checking connection, make sure we are gonna be on and we're not gonna be buffering. Like always, you guys know I'm always buffering around and just making sure that we are good, that we are where we need to be. So things, 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 things. I just wait a little bit. <clears throat> I'm talking. I'm talking here like I'm. I'm gonna get like a thousand people on the stream. <laughs> oh man! I got a new toy. I received today a new gadget. But I know probably some of you guys have it already. Maybe not. I can give you my thoughts on it. I do like it. It's going to make things more easier for me when it comes to testing. When it comes to testing the water, ha, I hate the API test kits. Those API test kits, I hate them with passion. <laughs> One is better than none. All right, so the, the, the API test kits, I hate them with passion. Chip, my brother. So you guys, um, I don't know if you, if you guys have those tests around or, or had them before, but when you put the water inside the vial and you shake it, because they tell you to shake it really, really good. I'm not gonna say that all the words, Word because it's too big for my language. T40 Filipino. Nice intro, Filipino reefer. Um, but yeah, so so when you do the, the APA test kits or tests, whatever, and you put the you put the water, then you start pouring the solution in. Let me tell you guys, it's a BS. It's a BS. Um, because they don't seal really good. I, I never had no luck um shaking the, the vial and nothing escaping from there. So good thing they came up with this uh speed test, the uh, automatic spear spear make uh however you call this noise, man. But the magnetic spears. So it's a good thing they came up with them. Because let me tell you, today it is a speedy test that you do when you do the the testing. So I did my calcium today. Uh, I did my nitrates test kit today, and it was super stupid fast, super stupid fast. The only problem I encountered was, I guess the the one that I got. Uh, I guess somebody bought it before, and. Uh, I guess it didn't work for him, so the person tried to open it, and you, you could tell it was shipped from one little of the corners of the plastic, and because it wasn't working for me. It say battery not included. Mine came with a battery, so I'm pretty sure somebody bought it before. Happy Memorial Day weekend to you too, my bro. So I'm pretty sure somebody bought it before, but. I couldn't stay with my hands tied, so I just tried to open it myself, and I made it to work. So 
I guess the person that bought it before they didn't have the same luck I had. So, so I managed to to make it work. And let me tell you guys how freaking simple this thing is, how awesome it is. So I highly recommend this product. I bought the SR Aquari Aquaristic. So SR Aquaristic. So if you don't know which one I'm talking about, I'm talking about this one. I ain't gonna do a giveaway on one of these things. I'm gonna do a couple giveaways. I got a $50 gift card from Reef Nutrition also to give away. Um, but yeah, that, that joint right there, let me tell you guys, oh my MG, it's super, super fast to do a test. So when you open the box, let me turn on the light again, hold on. I'm over here like a like a little kid on a freaking um however you call that joint where you put the little kids. I'm in my rolling chair, rolling all over the living room. Um hello Tyreen, how you doing mama? So this is what you get in the box. It's a nice size, fit in your hand. Has a magnetic pill in there. It has up to 50 mils that you could put in here of aquarium water. And once you turn it on, the pill starts spinning. So, and then you got, of course, I think I got a, um, it could spin really, really fast or it could just go zero to nothing. Really cool product, man. Really, really, really cool product. So I highly recommend this thing because I did my calcium, especially my calcium that you guys know once once you do the test, they say for you to put, I think it's like 15 drop first from the second um, reagent, you put 15 drops and then just count from there the rest of the drops that you put and then you get your numbers. Listen. I put, I just kept going until I, until the color change. When the color change, you know, the, the test is done. Um, they say for you to wait for the color to change blue. Um, I always count the number as the cut uh, of, of the last drop before the color change to blue. Um, due to, you know, it's not, if it's not mixed properly inside the, the vial or whatever, but it's a very very cool cool equipment i highly suggest you guys to get one i gotta get the algae scraper that tyreen sent me through ig i gotta get that one because <laughs> i came up with my own one you guys know me with my diy stuff and this is what i did <laughs> i put a blade at the end of freaking acrylic um thing that I had there why you used to to mark the parkings and stuff like that uh, but I gotta get one I gotta get that one that you had Terry because I, I do like that one and I probably get the bigger size one just so in case in the future I go with a bigger tank which are my plans later on because you guys know all the squirrels are gonna continue growing and they're not planning to stop so but if you haven't get a magnetic steer, go get it. Go get it. If not, just wait for the giveaway whenever um, I get one for you guys. So that's one thing that we're going to be doing here. Not today, but pretty soon. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'm having a, uh, a, uh, <laughs> I'm having a good weekend. Let me, let me tell you guys, I'm having a good weekend. Couldn't get better. I'm sure it works good as long as you don't cut yourself. Eh, I'm, I might cut myself. Well, not really. You know, I'm a barber in my veins, so I can handle the blade really good. Um, Well, not so good because the other day, on the last day of my job, we've been, I think it's four years with no injuries. And that same day, I said they did the talk and blah, 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 you know, congratulations, guys, good job, and staying safe all these four years. 
Um, your boy go outside to remove a logo from the company that we had on the fence. And it was already so bad because of the sun. So I went to put a new one. And of course, when you cut something with a blade, you got to cut away from you, not towards you. And your boy did it towards him. So guess what? He cut himself on the day that we were celebrating our four years with no injury. But nobody saw me, so I kept it a secret. I kept that a secret, but I did poke my my thumb uh, really, really bad, really bad. I know I probably needed one stitch, and <clears throat> I, I remember because the only person that saw me was the forklift guy, and I'm, I'm right there. He's looking at me while I'm gonna cut the the sit tight, and once I went like that, poop! I hit my hand, and next thing you know, I had gloves, cut through gloves, and the blood still show. Well, it was the tip of the blade, so. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I did cut myself. Hello, breeder. How you doing? But yeah, man. Um, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, nothing much to do over here in Connecticut. It's cold. It's rainy. So. What better way to spend this weekend with my fish tank and keeping a, a, an eye on my Mandarin. He made it through the night. He's still alive. So uh, you guys know how much I love that fish. Um, yesterday, I noticed his behavior started going downhill more than, than the rest of the days before. Uh, he wasn't eating nothing. He, he wasn't trying to eat nothing. He didn't eat the pellets. He was ignoring them. Uh, no brine shrimps. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's the internal parasite. I don't know. I don't know. But the good thing, you know, I caught him yesterday really fast. Put him in the refugium. He was kind of agitated for a while in there um, until I put the mirror. Um, that that's a good way of of calming the fish down. Even though he's gonna be agitated with himself, um, you know, seeing his reflection on, on, on a mirror, but he calmed down a little, and he was no longer like swimming up and down, all crazy in the refugium. So he started looking around, and he did find a couple pops. So I did post a short video on IG where he's picking uh, some of the pots in the thing. But you guys saw that ball of shadow or? Algae, whatever I got in there. At one point, I'm in the couch and my eyes closed for, I would say, a good five minutes. And I looked down, and guess what? The fish was on top of the algae just there. <laughs> I felt so bad as I said, this fish is almost dying. And then I look in there and he's resting on top of the algae. So, ha. Huh. It's tough. It's tough, you know, because I'm trying to do the best for the fish, and we'll see. Right now, I'm waiting for the lights to come on on the refugium. They will come on, I think, around 8.30 or maybe in the next the next 10 or so minutes and see see how he's going to how how's he's gonna be doing. Because yesterday, uh, once I rescued him from, from the top of the algae, he went down. He wasn't agitated or nothing, but he just went between the algae and the little egg crate I got in there. And he was resting because I know around that time that that happened is the time that the lights are off in the tank. So I know his his sleep got all messed up because the refugian light works on the opposite of the tank. So uh, hopefully he got a good rest. And when he wakes up now, when the lights come on, he's going to be good. And hopefully it's plenty pots to keep on alive. Let's say until tomorrow, I'm gonna go to my LFS, uh, grab a bottle, a couple pots, and just try to get them back to help, man. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. I got some branch room eggs that I'm gonna try to hatch. Also, that's another option I could do. Um, Shut the refugium when I put the branch, baby branch rooms in there, and just let them have a feast in there that's another option 
just to get him to get something in his stomach. That that's my worries right now. I want him to get something in, because if he don't get something in, he's gonna die. He's gonna die, and I don't want to see that happen. Yeah, he was in the nano tank, but he kept being in the back of the rock without moving, and. Since I had Mandarin before, once they do that, they just gonna lay there and start to death. So he he like move around a tiny bit, but went back to the same spot. So I already know that he's in in between giving up or or giving another shot. You know, try a little more hard. So, but at this point, I just gotta get him back to, in shape, um, natural. Trying to get as, as many pots I can in there and just keep an eye on him. Uh, he's in a smaller tank now because the refugium is a six gallon tank. So, but at least there's plenty of algae in there for copal pots to live and probably reproduce. But I know once they see a mandarin in there, it's like they know. It's like they know, <laughs> it's like having a shark in, in, inside a swimming pool. Wear a glove. A glove for what? But uh, that's my story uh, for now on that fish. Uh, everybody else, still good. On the clowns that you guys see right there in front of the tank, he's still good. He's, he's getting more in the skinny size still. But again, I mean, I, I'm treating the fish. I'm doing what I can. There's nothing else I can do after that. Just don't do what I've been doing all these years, and it's not quarantining fish. That's that's one thing that I, I got to do from now on. Um, and not quarantine for a month and think everything's okay. You got to quarantine longer than that, especially if you're gonna if you're, if you're gonna buy a fish and you have your fish already established there for a year, two years, three years. Um, you taking a risk with a fish that you just got and you put on a quarantine tank for a month and the fish didn't show no signs of, of, of nothing and you're going to throw them in your tank, you're still running a big, big chance of that fish being sick and getting the rest of your fish sick. So... There's the uh, glove that goes up to your shoulders. Yeah, but that one, you're talking about that one for the fish tank? The glove that I cut myself was with the one from work. They cut the glove. That was something else. Seventy-six day, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, uh, man. It's so sad watching a fish die after you know you do everything in your power to to save them from the LFS first of all, or from any unexperienced reefer out there or a new beginner reefer that don't know what they're doing, and, and it's a fish that you always wanted to get, you know. And but me. Uh, I gotta, I gotta quarantine longer, man. Like, fish should be in a quarantine for, well, I mean, observation, yeah, you know, but still treat the fish for anything. I, I, I recommend still treat it for anything because so, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes, I mean, the fish can look super healthy. Like, I'm pretty sure some of my fish in there got internal parasites and they look healthy. But to some of the fish, the um, what you will find in the fish is some get skinny and some get fatter. <laughs> so they look bloated. And that's the case in some of this fish. Um, the ones that are bloated, you know, that's all that's going to be to them. 
but the one that gets skinny, uh, what, the parasite just eating them from the inside out. Eating the muscles and all that. Yeah, if I if like when, when I do quarantine again, I'm gonna do fur first and most like first first things first. Fresh water dip. A fresh water dip right off the bat. Um right off the bat. I'd rather put the fish through stress in the first few hours when you get it. I mean the elephants caught it, put it in a bag, you bring it home, you know, the from from the elephants to your house, and then you gotta Acclimate the fish and all that. Might as well just do a fresh water dip and and put it in the quarantine tank. Don't wait to oh let me just put it here because I just grab it from the LFS. Let me put it in this tank so he could calm down, he could get comfortable and then take him out again and do a fresh water dip and start treating the fish. But that's that's what I'm gonna do if I ever get any other new fish. Unless I know I'm getting it from a place that is the fish, I, I've been seeing them there for a long time. And it's been to quarantine and all that. It's still, 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 because you don't know what what be happening when you're not there. So, or what all the new fish they put in the tank and then they took it out. You know, you never know. So, yeah, that's 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 the sad part about it. So all the, all right now is a waiting game. I'm just hoping for the best. Um, Mandarin is one of my favorite fish, man. And I don't want the fish to die. And if it happens, I don't want to be here and see it myself because it's a sad death. It's really sad watching that fish die. Is is oof? Ah, I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, I laugh, but I laugh because I know, I know it's coming. It's sad. I gotta feed the tank and the fish. They waiting. I changed the schedule on my Orfex. Uh, I'm been running them too long, so. I usually run in the, 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 the light for 12 hours right now. Um, that's, rent, you know, from zero to 100 and then go back down to zero. So they're not all the time at 100%, let's say, uh, full intensity throughout the day. They just go up full intensity for like four, four hours, six hours, let's say. So the Orfex, I was running them from 10 and... 10 a.m. to 10, 10, 30 at night. So that changed. Um, now they're going to go off at 10. Uh, one is off already. So by 8, I think at 9, the, all the orphans is going to be off. And then it's, it's just going to be the the air primes and the nutsi just uh, in the low, low, low setting of the day. Yeah, Ruby, um, Ruby Reef, Ick, Kick, Ick, and Rally is is by far the best product I ever try um, for for treating Ick and for treating any other disease. I I I I have the bottle here, but it's the best. It's the best product. If if you guys are ever looking for anything to take care of Ick. Or any other parasites, other than internal parasites, because the the rally do not take care of internal parasites. Those are special medicines for those. And but the kick kick is amazing, and it's reef safe, so you can use it in your reef. You don't gotta stress the fish by taking it out if it's already in there, and none of that. So. All you gotta do is the typical turn off your protein skimmer, your UV sterilizer, remove carbon, and you're good to go. And it's copper free. 
So, yeah, it's one of the one of those that I highly recommend. Let me fit the fish. Gotta turn off the return. Yep, lights are off. They ready. They so ready to eat. I gotta change my my feeding schedule too, cause I'm feeding late lately. It's around eight nine. That's too late. I'm just gonna start feeding a little bit earlier, around six seven. That way. That way, by around this time, is already the tank is already clean and and all those booty stuff. But yeah, guys, so the this this joint right here, man, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I got my MP10 here. Also, I'm probably gonna put the MP10 in this tank. We'll see. I gotta mess around with it first, cause uh, last time I think I put it, it had a little noise. An uncomfortable noise that I wasn't liking. So I gotta check and see what's the problem. And guess what? Yesterday I swapped the alkalinities, well, the cut washer. Well, I didn't swap it, I just increased the dosage. So, so far, so good. I've been test, I test from yesterday to this morning, I think it was, yeah, from yesterday to this morning. So it was about eight, from yesterday afternoon to this morning. So it was about 18 hours around there, 18, 12, 14 or so, something like that. So I got 8.0 in all the times that I tested the water, only one time. I did get 7.9, which is for me is still 8. I'm going to test again right now since the lights are going down. I'm pretty sure when the lights are going down, because when I test and I got the 7.9, it was at the peak of the light um, where the light was at, at the peak, you know, so I know. The corals are consuming anything in the water column, so probably that's why I got that little bit of, you know, reading, low reading. It's just not low, but we're going to do another test right now. Let's see if we get, if I get an 8.8, .8, then we hit that sweet spot, finally. <laughs> I'm dosing 50 mils an hour. That's 1,200 mils a day, which I don't mind. So what, I, what I've been doing all day today, believe it or not, I did a couple things. I, I cut my hair. Um, I was, I was going to do a water change, but something happened to the water, so I had to remake water again. So I couldn't do the water change today, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me check this first. Hold on. I don't want to lose track of what I'm doing here. So, so what I did all day was just marking every time 50 mils go down. So I was marking it to make sure, to make sure, make sure that we. So we get in exactly 50 mil in each dosage. And it is exactly 50 mils. And also I want to know how long this freaking thing is gonna last me. Um, and another word exactly is how much time I got of usage. So whenever I gotta refill it again, and right now, it seems like I got about a day and a half. So, 
So I'm just trying to see if I'm going to need a bigger container or not. So that's 200 mils. And then if we do another six, so that'll be 1800 mils that I could fit in this container. So I, I'm going to need a bigger one because I don't, I'm not planning to refill this thing every single, every other day. Salt Reef! Mi hermano, como esta, brother? Here we are, here we are, brother. Estamos en vivo. Estamos aquí, estamos aquí. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I, I decided to go live today, you know. Today's Reef Girl live. But I know she's doing this weekend the uh, Worldwide live stream. So I said, you know what? I know people are around right now, so let me just give them something just to watch, you know. There's not much in interesting stuff happening in my life, but here we are. <laughs> Everything's going good, brother. Couldn't couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. The day is going amazing. Come along like always. Like always. I'm used to it anyway. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's see. Hit it. No, 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 no. Oh, it is going down. So it just went down one more point. So that means that I just got to increase it just a tiny bit. So I'm doing 50 mil. I'm going to do 55 mil. Fifty-five mils, and then it's gonna it, it should stay exactly where it's at, unless things like wow. You know what? I'm still gonna wait. I'm not gonna dose nothing. I said to myself, don't dose nothing yet. See if it is dropping because my thing is at nighttime, right? At night, at nighttime, squirrels are sleeping. Some are feeding. Some are feeding plankton or whatever is in the water column. So, but are they not? I, I don't know. This part, I don't know, but I don't think they are consuming alkalinity and calcium like they do, like they do when the lights are on. So my thinking is throughout the night, alkalinity should go up a little, back to normal, because corals are not consuming. That's my thought process on it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm wrong. I will look into it because... That's something that I need to know. I don't know why I didn't research this before. If you guys know about it, let me know. Do corals consume alkalinity and calcium and all that while the lights are off? There you go. Do some homework for me, please. Google it. That part didn't, uh, uh, never occurred to me to search that online. Wow. Can't believe Because for me, they only consume alkalinity and calcium throughout the day most than throughout the night. That's my thinking. I mean, lights are on. That's they they photosynthetic. That's how they get their energy from the light and all that. I mean, if you use common sense, that's what I'm trying to use. <laughs> Oof, my mind just went like static. But that part, I don't know. So trying to do some more research. But el tener dos pescados en el web donde me dijiste donde venían peces siempre tener dos peces a ver cómo llegan si llegan bien voy a ordenar más. Yeah, yeah, brother. It's a good place, man. It's a good place. Trust. You won't regret. And if anything happened to those fish. All you gotta do is take a picture. Um, I think they give you about a week or so, if I'm not mistaken. If they arrive dead, 
take a picture, go get them out of the bag, boom, boom, send it to them. And they will either give you the money back if you want the money back or they send you um, new fish. So let me turn off that low again. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. But then you, you will you won't regret it. How how you guys weekend going so far? Uh, no problem, brother. You know how it is. Anything. That's what we're here for. Can't wait to for you to let me know that the tank is ready to go so I, we can plan so I can send you some corals. Listen guys, I got I got frags. I got frags here. You guys know better than that. You guys want anything and you know, you gotta be just pay chipping. Pay chipping and I send you, we could trade, we could do whatever, whatever. We pay each other chipping and we get it done. I know, same over here, brother. Yeah, any time, brother, any time. Wow, we broke record today. We got 11 people in the house. Once, uno, uno. Nice. Well, I only got one bad news for you guys. My phone is not completely charged. <laughs> so we only had, I think it was like 50%, something like that. Claro que sí, brother. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. I'm planning, I'm still debating. You know, it's it's so hard for me to let go of anything that I got. And not, not when it comes to, to corals and frags, but to let a system go is hard. Really, really, really super hard. Um, the BNT is a tank. The it's been in the back of my head debating. Okay, should I keep it? Should I shut it down? What should I do with the tank? Um, I got some nice corals in there that I'm not planning to sell. Um, I can frag them later on when they grow, but. Since I'm not planning to sell those corals, that means that I gotta get a bigger tank. So I could put those, so I could put everything in just one tank. Um, sad that if that happens, you guys know what the DNT means and, and why I built this, this tank. Um, you know, it's in memory of Dave Nano Tanks. So uh, it, it, it'd be hard, you know. Since we don't have BB Pipes no more doing videos, he was the only one that was hard body um, keeping Dave present in all this. You know, after he passed away. So that that's why it's like it's so hard for me to let go of, of just that second tank. Because no matter what tank can be, it could be. Now it's a 21 gallon, tomorrow it could be a, a 30 gallon, a 75 gallon, it's still going to be called the DMT tank. You know, and, and the reason why, I always said it before, you know, he was, uh, you know, one of the first experienced reefer I started watching and learning from. Um, I was just lurking, you know, go, he used to do live, I used to go in. And just watch and learn, you know, get all that all that knowledge. 
and he was one of the first one alive that you ask a question and he will answer back right away. So, so that's why it's hard for me to let go of that tank. Um, now that I can, I I bet you I can fit everything in in the forty, but I don't want to. I don't want the forty to look so packed. Hello, rescue. I don't want the forty to look so packed. I want to get the coral space for them to grow, and that's why it's so hard for me to let go of the DMT. But I got plenty of corals in there, though. You know, some are beginners, some are mid reefers, and some are pro reefers. So um, the pro reefer ones, you know, I cannot, I cannot get those away yet because they slow grower. Something with with those type of corals, like the Monty, I got a nice Monty green polyp, like the skin is kind of like a orange peach color. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's just a slow grower. Super, super slow grower. Um, now it's starting crossing in the rock, so that's a good sign. It's growing. But zoas, I got zoas for days. So, sometimes I feel like getting rid of all the zoas. Sometimes I say, wow, but I like this one. I do like this one. When they fully grow, like my, my blue hornets, they're just beautiful. Zoas are beautiful. Um, to start SPS, I had the frost skin. Uh, I got Montes, Plated Monty and Crusted Montes. I got the as Acro, Acropora. I got the Frosting Acro, uh, the, the Green Slimer. I have Purple Stylo, Apostolopora. Uh, I think it's a uh, Blue Polyp Stylo, if I'm not mistaken, or some type of birdness, which is the one right here, but I got a frag down here. So this frag's here, I got the green slimer. It's another one right here, a little bit bigger. Uh, the purple stylo, um, the frusking is right behind this right here. And frusking, I got a few. Frusking, I got that one. It's another one back here. And then I got another one, the DMT. Um, SPS, I mean, the Montes is the Digis. I, I got all three Digis. Matter of fact, I got all four Digis. No, three. I got the green one. The That's the, I'll be forgetting me. The red one, the regular ones, and the bubblegum Digi. That's the only ones I got. I also have this one, which is kind of like a Digi. But this one plates and it branches. It do all kind of shapes. Um, that's the blue subs on um, Montipora. So it's a little, you know, they all you could say beginners, um, very hardy corals. You can beat them down, and you know, as long as your levels are where they need to be, they won't die. Uh, what else? What else? I got the Sunset Monty. Um, I got a few, few. Um, hit me up in in IG and I can send you pictures, better pictures, so you can see them up close and how they are. Oh, okay, rescue. So yeah, for me, I'm more, I like to keep, like, for what I find, I'm on, oh, how can I say it better? I like more, you could say the old school SPS. 
um, corals. I'm not into names, and and I do have some name acros in the air and stuff. The the colors are coming back slowly, and they probably have some crazy names. I know one is the Wolverine acro that is there. And I got a Rainbow Millie. Uh, what else? What else? I, I have a few few nice ones in there, but I like I'm more a guy that I like the green slimer. I have a purple stag in there. The digis, I love the shape of those corals because I know once those corals grow big, it's it's gonna fill the tank up like really fast, and they get in there. They get in there. A lot of these corals, I started with just a nub. Just a little nub. And and they've been through hell, man. I almost lost them last uh last month, a month and a half ago. Uh I released Rawa Foss in the tank. <laughs> oh man, what a dummy. And I almost wiped out the whole thing. So but this came back around. This came back. Let me give you a, a closer look before the lights go off. We got 15 minutes. But here's the view from the front, which is the side right now because the tank is against the wall. Look at this nice mushroom. Look. Well, the corals are he healthy, really, really healthy. After even, you know, what happened to the tank. Yeah, my little Aiken Island. What I'm bothering you right now is phosphates, man. Phosphates, uh, I test, uh, let's say if I, I test, Today, 0.4, then tomorrow they 0.11 again, and ah, oh, it's crazy. Let me give you guys a more wider view. Oh, I got the, I got the fire going. <laughs> the fake fire. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, I have a cleaner ass. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, yellow cores ras, a cleaner goby, two firefish, two clowns, and the forty. Um, a carpenter ras, uh, royal grama, a barnacle blenny, a yellow belly dancel. Am I missing anybody in the yellow pen? About 12 fish in that tank, I believe, something like that. And then, plus in the refugium, I have the, the Mandarin right now. In this other tank, I have a clown, a yellow assessor basilic, another yellow belly uh, damsel. It's only three fish there now, a couple hermit crabs, one sexy shrimps. A bunch of snails, a bunch of yeah, a bunch of hermit crabs, um, three peppermint shrimp or two right now. I think I saw they both pregnant right now. Look at this two fighting. <laughs> the tables turn because when I <laughs> when I put that blue dancehall in there with the clown, the clown was beating the life out of him, and now. The dancer grew some cojones, man. The dancer grew some cojones, and now he's fighting back the freaking clown. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Yeah, the cleaner rest. I got a few fish that I gotta move them out of this tanks in the near future. 
due to that they're gonna grow big they're gonna grow really big like the yellow tank i had that guy since he was a tiny baby you could say and he's right now big big for the size of the tank and the the cleaner ass also uh i will get rid of it later on down the line the yellow coil rats also i will get rid of them down the line do because they need bigger tanks i'm gonna try to donate them to an aquarium public aquarium or something because i don't want to bring them back to the lfs uh bringing them back to the or a fellow reefer that has a big tank or something you know i i am planning to upgrade i am planning to upgrade nas not too big because i'm not a my life the way my life has been <laughs> now that i don't want i, I want to go in my personal life but um i'm not stable basically in the way of i never know where i'm gonna be tomorrow so i don't want to go too big and then have to move this tank because this tank had been moved out of here already twice and it's not fun <laughs> moving this tank back and forth even though now i got a bigger every time i move them it, the 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 body of water get bigger so <laughs> that's the funny part about it but if i go the if i go bigger the smallest i go is the 80 gallons 80 gallon shallow reef so that's that's a tank that I love the footprint on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful tank. It's shallow, so why that size tank or why shallow? Because the minute you get to, to a bigger tank, deeper tank is more equipment you gotta get. You gotta get the right equipment for that tank. So I'm not planning to upgrade lights unless I buy a bundle from Waterbox. You know, when I, where I buy the tank, it comes with lights. I mean, you got to include the lights, in, in, you know, but if I get a tank like that, then yeah, I'm going to get all the bells and whistles in it. So I don't have to upgrade later on. They are, they are, but, but to tell you the truth, in this hobby, everything is expensive. So might as well do the investment once. Because if I put all the money that I had invested in tanks, lights, pumps, and all that, since I started to where I'm at right now, I would have bought like three of those tanks from Waterbox. You know what I'm saying? So, so at the moment, if you if you trying to buy a one shot, yes, it's expensive. But is this hobby something that you get in it? You're not gonna leave it in the next two years. I mean, of course, in case any emergency or any family situation or personal situation, you got to leave the hobby, then that's, that's another story. But <laughs> when I got in this hobby, I know it was for, I was going to be in for good. And here I am, 10 years later, still reefing. And all the equipment I had gone through in all these years, man, but back then we didn't have the water boxes we didn't have the rescue reefers and we didn't have all these tanks that come with all this nice equipment in it there's like a plug and play you get what i'm saying so they are expensive but you better off man you better off because one you go the diy route some people think they saving money by going diy this whole system is diy and i didn't say shit. i didn't say nothing and i'm being honest it's the DIY sum is uh basically kind of be DIY stand because I use the 40 breeder stand and I made it longer buying two 40 breeder stands. Um, the small tank is a 40 breeder stand, but they don't make them that size, so whatever I got left over from the other one to make the one from the 40 longer, so I make this one that I got. So I still made two um but it's not it's not worth it man it's not worth it it's fun i ain't gonna lie because i had i did have fun doing all this diy stuff but it's better if you have the money 
and you could get all that in one shot just do it or you know get it on credit swipe that credit card get everything pay a little by little don't deal it's better i'm telling you it's better it's better it's better and you're not you're not gonna have to upgrade in the next 10 years. That's the best part about it. You know, you don't have to upgrade because you buy the right lights for the right tank, the right pump for the right tank. You're not gonna go buy a, a, a cheap pump or something to get messed up in the process. You know, uh, it's you know it's a it's a two way two way row. So. You could go either or. Oh, you don't know all this briefing. Uh, a water box is a system. It's a, it's a tank that they, it's a company that sells tank already with everything. Or you can add everything. You can either buy the tank with the stand and the sump. I believe, you know, if you buy the tank and stand, it comes with the sump or a plumbing, everything is in it. Or you could buy, you could start adding stuff on it, like the lights, you can add the return pump, power heads. Uh, power heads is the, uh, what creates movement inside the, the tank. Uh, you could buy the skimmer, which is the filtration, the stuff down here, uh, where's my instance, right here, the stuff down here. So it's a, it's a nice tank. It's, they they made very fancy, so it's a cool tank. Yep. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a complete system. Give me a second, guys. It's about to get louder in here. Oh, you work for Aura. Nice. Really, really nice. There goes the, the Dolson pump. I'm going to mute this for a sec.
All right, all right. No party here. What are you guys talking about? No party over here. <laughs> no sound. Yeah, I, I wrote it here. I say, hold on, guys. I had the light on mute until everyone said on here, give me a few. <laughs> Yeah, ha, 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 very funny, very funny, honey. Macarena, Macarena, <laughs> the Macarena, Macarena. John, John, so John Silva, so our community is is going down a tiny bit, like really, really slow. But my question is, my question is, does my question is, does Corals consume alkalinity and calcium and all that through the night. Or they only consume it while the lights are on. Or they do consume, but not as much as when the lights are on. That's my question. Oh, battery low. I knew it. No, I wasn't dancing it. No Macarena here. You guys got jokes today, huh? Ah. Anyway, guys, I got a. I got a departure right now. I don't want to. I don't want this life to get ruined by noise. And then don't say nothing. I come back on again. <laughs> uh, I gotta shut the phone. My life, my life. They're going to beat me up? Yeah, right. You only knew. But I know probably nobody out there right now going live. I'm the only one, I guess. But Macarena, Macarena, we got to end of this life. I was going to do something else, but guys, if you guys don't have that magnetic stir, get one. If not, just wait for me to get one to give it away. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check on the Mandarin. The light came on. Oh no, you guys can see this because what about his dead? I don't want you guys to see that. All right, let's get a low, low here. Give me one second. Let me go search for the Mandarino. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, puppy, eat, eat. You got plenty of copper pots in there. All right, he's still alive. That's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. Oh, 
Yeah, the refugium is covered. You don't see it? I got a lid in there. Still kicking, yeah, brother. Still kicking. So he's he's searching for path in there. So I doubt that he's gonna find many today because I know they're gonna be hiding. They're gonna hide from him like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> they're probably gonna start swimming in the tank now, saying he's no longer in the tank. But let's hope for the best, man. Let's hope for the best for that fish. There's nothing else I could do about it. Uh, like I said before, all I could try to do is. Let's go tomorrow to the LFS, get some some copper pots, try to feed the copper pots to him, you know, keep feeding the refugium with more pots, more pots, more pots. I mean, I know I got plenty pots in the tank, but not the ones they eat, like the trigger, uh, tiger, tiger pots, trigger pots, something like that. I don't have, I did have those, but they no longer in the tank unless they somewhere else in the tank that I don't know. But well, all I see is more of the cyc cyclops, cyclop pods, pods. So I don't think those are big enough to sustain a mandarin nice and fat. I also have the one that look like, uh, I forget the name of those. Uh, anthropods? No, not the anthropods. The other ones that look like a freaking ant, like a white ant. Those. Forget the name of those, and those are gonna be hiding from the from the Mandarin. You could have both. <laughs> I stay with the little one. You stay with the big one. Sounds like a plan. But anyway. So before this phone dies and things go sideways, let's end up this stream with a bang bang. Have a good filter. Do you have a oh what? Well, guys, thank you so much. Wow, we got 12 people today, you see? You see, you see? It's like, I'm over here like, okay, stay, don't stay. Raffle the small kid, the big. <laughs> nope. No, thank you. No, but no, thank you. She, what I, what I can, ah, no, 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 we keep them both. Oh, Angel, mm -hmm. Angel's good people, man. And just really good people. He also he also breed clownfish. And you're really good people. Another thing, guys. Okay, let's finish. So thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate each and one of y'all for stopping by and, you know, spending some of your day with me here, basically talking about almost nothing, but it's all good. That's what always happened here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said before, get an autom uh, automatic stir or magnetic stir. They work amazing. And I see you guys in the next live, man. Don't forget tomorrow, Reef Girl Worldwide live stream. I'll probably be there. It's going to be early. So I'll probably be there. Um, yeah, and I keep you guys posted on whatever is going on with the fish. So he's still alive. Um, 
So let's hope for the best that he's going to continue getting better, 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 better. And, you know, let's hope for the best. That's all I can do right now. So thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. I see you guys in the next live.